Okay, great. Uh, well, thanks for letting me demo today. Uh, for those who don't know me, this is my contact information. Um, I'm a Microsoft Office Development MVP. I uh, do a lot of blogging and vlogging, so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Today, we're going to talk about modern experience theme management. So we're going to take a couple of seconds and discuss the importance of modern themes. There's some interesting perspectives on it uh, that we as maybe just developers might not necessarily think about. And then we're going to see how we can empower those content authors and site owners <clears throat> excuse me, to manage SharePoint themes with a web part that we'll be demoing today. So when we think of the value of a SharePoint theme, we typically think of applying colors. This is the SharePoint framework. Uh, SIG call, so I think it's a large conglomerate of developers. It's a pretty simple thing for us to do and create, right? We go to the Office UI fabric, uh, develop a palette or configure a palette, go run a little few lines of PowerShell, and we're good to go. But for a lot of marketing communications departments or user uh, employee engagement departments that are responsible for managing the SharePoint sites, a modern theme actually equals user adoption. And the buy-in by users for just simply having colors uh, change is pretty significant. Now, you may think, okay, David, you're running a little bit overboard here, uh, kind of blowing it out of proportion. But studies have shown that around the importance of color in 90 seconds is all it takes for us to make a subconscious judgment after the initial viewing of something, whether it be a product, a site, uh, whatever the case may be. And in that 90 seconds, 90% 90 of that assessment is based on color alone. So it's a pretty significant weight put on just color. So when we think about SharePoint theme management, applying a theme really because of the beauty of the modern experience and the hard work by the SharePoint team, so thank you, we have single click simplicity using those SharePoint UI themes. We just need to click on whatever we want to click on from a company theme or a SharePoint theme, and it's done. It's applied. Uh, as developers in SharePoint Framework, we can inherit from those themes to ensure that as our users change the theme, the entire site will inherit from it as well. So our web parts, our extensions, anything we develop will fall in line with the choice that the users are making or the site owners are making around the creation of their and branding of their site. So it's extremely empowering. Managing themes, though, <clears throat> the creation of them, the updating of them, the deleting of them, uh, that's still kind of a developer-driven task. We have to write some PowerShell, and again, to us, that's very simple. Uh, but for users, uh, it's probably not something they're going to do. The beauty is, though, that we have a REST API to connect through. So that allows us to create something for creating, updating, deleting, or my favorite, which we'll talk about in the demo, apply. So this is an opportunity for us to provide a UI for management of those themes to uh, specific site owners or maybe higher level tenant configuration admins. Uh, but we want to make sure we keep in mind governance, right? So this is a very empowering web part that we could utilize, as simple as we'll see it is. It's pretty empowering. It's not something we probably want to throw into the tenant app catalog. Uh, we might want to scope it to something like a singular site with a site collection app catalog that specifies exactly uh, who can get access to it. And then it's only used there, so that way you're not polluting that collection of company themes by anybody and everybody. So we want to make sure we keep that in mind. So let's jump over to the web part. But before then, I just wanted to take a minute and give a shout out to Bo Cameron. He's actually not on the call today, but he's a super big rock star, worked with me on this actually. So I just want to give a shout out and thank him for that. All right, so let's go take a look at a site collection that I created where I put this web part. Now, again, I mentioned you might want to put it somewhere that is only going to be accessible by some higher elevated privileged users. Uh, of course, that makes sense that it would go in central admin, right? So we have our central admin site here. And again, it's a very simple web part, uh, modern experience theme manager. Uh, we start out with the ability to create a theme, update a theme, delete a theme, and apply a theme. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is create a primary theme, but we need to generate the palette for that. So uh, I've included a link here, UI Fabric Theme Generator, which will simply just take you to a tab I've already got opened here, which is the UI Fabric Theme Generator. And it's pretty simple to generate a theme if you haven't already done it uh, in the past. You come in, and we see we've got the primary theme color, our body text color, and our background color. We'll just leave those the same. We're going to change the primary theme color. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste in a hex value here for the... Uh, for the uh, kind of tealish that we are now having on our new SharePoint logo. And we'll capture the JSON. We don't need the code or the PowerShell. You could use that, but for this web part, it uses the JSON. So we'll go ahead and copy that. We'll go back to our theme manager, and we'll start out by creating a theme. So we're going to go ahead and 
call it PNP. We'll paste our theme palette and we'll go ahead and click create. Very simple notification. Uh, as we'll see in some of the code, I left it very simple so that it could be easily learned and understood. Uh, it's not overly complex and you can build better validation and alerts and all that if you decide you want to use it. So we'll hit OK. And now when we come over to our panel, we'll go to change the look, we'll go to theme, and we'll see we created it. So there, it's it's there and it's available to us. But now let's say we want to update it. And let's say we come in here, Vesa maybe is not quite super happy with the the, uh, the PNP teal. I know he likes it, but we know he loves what more? Orange. So we're going to come over to UI Fabric again. We're going to paste in an orange color. We're going to copy our palette. We'll come back, and we see that the available themes has already been generated for us. And all these are being uh, accessed by just a REST API. So I'm going to go ahead and select the PNP. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and select all of this, paste in the new palette, update theme. We can see it's been successfully updated. So if I close my change to look, come back, theme, we can see now we've got PNP, all orange. And then again, deleting it is as dead simple as the rest. Uh, it generates a drop down for us. We select PNP and we select delete theme. It has been successfully deleted. We can confirm that. Change the look, theme, and it's gone. I'm just left with my blog based color schemes. So that leaves us with apply a theme. Uh, as I mentioned, it's by far my favorite because what it allows us to do is actually apply a theme without creating a theme. So you may be thinking, wait a second, is that even possible? Yes, we can apply a theme to a site without having created a theme within the change the look panel. Uh, and how that works is we actually tell it exactly where we want to apply that theme to. So let's say we've got an employee experience site. Uh, maybe it's an employee engagement, employee events, something that's meant specifically to uh, just for the employees to go to find out about events or things that are a little more fun within the organization. Imagine the ability to go apply a theme based on something fun, whether it be a, a holiday or a first day of spring or winter or summer or some uh, internal events where you want to apply a color scheme that maybe encourages understanding or awareness of that event, but you don't want to pollute the change the look panel and then everybody has availability that starts applying it and then you have to go take it away and all of that. So for us, for our demo content, I've created the Batcave site. Uh, we all know I'm a big fan of Lego Batman, very funny guy. Uh, so he's created his little Batcave site here for encouraging and employee engagement within the DC world. Uh, you can submit your ideas, right? It's a karaoke night on Friday for, for Batman. But we see it's orange. And so Batman, well, he, he prefers black, right, or very, very dark gray. So what we're going to do is we're going to come and we're going to go generate a very, very dark gray palette. So I'm going to paste in my gray. We see our palette has been updated here. And if we go back to the theme manager, uh, we can go ahead and just call it Batcave. We'll go ahead and paste in our theme. We see it's using the 5D. And then you just provide the relative site URL. So we'll say sites, bat, cave. Now you could make this more robust. Again, uh, you could make it pre-selected, pre-populated. You could make it scoped just directly to a site. So if you wanted to give site owners of a singular site the ability to manage their own theme without the ability to go in and add to the tenant app catalog, then you could do that. You could scope it, not give them the ability to go update someone else's site, but just own their own site, which is pretty empowering. So we're going to go ahead and select Apply Theme. We see it says the theme has uh, successfully applied. So we'll go back to our Batcave site. We will refresh. And we see now that very, very dark gray has been applied. And if we go look at our Change the Look theme panel, we see it's not been added, but it does actually show as our current selection. So it's a pretty cool way, I think, albeit some simple way, but a pretty cool way to provide a degree of empowerment to those employee engagement, marketing communication uh, departments that may own a lot of this stuff and really have a lot of um, passion around what colors can do and what they mean. 
So we'll quickly look, I don't I want to leave plenty of time for the other demos, we'll quickly look at the code. Again, it's very simple. Um, there is a pull request in the web part, so this web part is and will be available soon. I know Vesso is going to try to process that, so it'll be available soon, so you can go grab it. Um, it is pretty simple. It's based on an out-of-the-box web part, as you kind of saw from the design. It just creates the HTML, and then there's a collection of uh, methods that are all individually done that allow you to delete updates. So if you wanted to just take out any one of the abilities. For example, here's the update tenant theme, and here's the apply tenant theme. So they're all based on a uh, on a, a somewhat modular theme manager execution function. So again, tried to make this very simple. Uh, it, you can make it more robust, uh, but for learning purposes, tried to keep it as simple as possible using uh, the REST API. And that's it. So real quick, short demo, but just wanted to. Uh, share how, how cool this, some of this stuff is for empowering our users.